Good evening. Michelle and I this evening are going to go over a cow with milk fever. This is Proud Rose, 14 year old member of our family. It calved on her own this morning. In fact, she had an amazing calving. We got up about 6.30 and the little calf, heifer calf was just at her side. The calving had gone well. So we immediately brought Rose up to the area where we milk and took about 12 pounds of colostrum from her. Got the calf fed and put it in its pen. And then we brought Rose up here to our freestall barn where she drank uh, a nice amount of warm water and did ate some both grass and alfalfa haze and did a little pasturing at the same time. We brought home the, the other two members of her family just so that everything would be kind of just normal. We like, well, we like things to be normal. Then throughout the day, we noticed that Rose started getting a little slower, a little slower, a little what you'd almost call sluggish. And at times we were watching a more frequent blinking of the eyes, the, the flopping of the ears, and of course the dry nose and some, some infrequent swallowing, cold ears. How do you tell if your ear is cold? Just come down to the tips on the end and they're very cold. In fact, they're ice cold. What if it's cold out? How do you know it's not just cold out? Well, because if you really hang on to it for a long time, it doesn't ever get warm. Okay. And from this, we follow on back into the tail head. And in her case, the tail head's not too cold yet, but when you come down more to this region of the tail, the tail is very cold down here, just about the same way the ends of the ears are. What does that mean? She's just slowing down. Metabolically, everything about her is slowing down. Blood movement, rumination, everything that she's supposed to be doing is just coming slower and slower and slower. Is that why she was kind of staggering? Yes. Of course, with milk fever, you get the term paralysis. When they're really down hard with milk fever, they can't get up. And that's at the very late stages, late stages of parchment paresis or milk fever. And in this case, we've chosen to go with a product called CMPK because we don't really feel that she has milk fever as much as she at her age just has an imbalance that we need to correct and warm her up so we're going to go with calcium magnesium phosphorus and potassium combination can you buy this at your feed store no nope, this is a product that strictly has to be purchased through your local veterinarian do all vets have it in your larger dairy areas yes or would it maybe be good to uh, make sure that you have some on stock before Def your cow definitely if you have a problem if you have particularly yes an older and a uh, cow you would definitely want to make sure you had some of this available and i've put this in some very warm hot water because we're going to administer it iv certainly want don't want to do anything to shock her system too much so we've got the solution nice and warm got this tube on real well and then in my pocket here we have a inch and a half 14 gauge needle notice the size of this the juggler vein is a very large vein so you like to get a needle that's big enough for that blood to keep moving through this needle. Okay. Now what I'll do is ask Michelle to hold the bottle. And I'll lay the tube right across here. And now I'm going to get down on one knee and with this hand Apologies in advance, we don't have anybody else to film this for us. With this right hand, I'm going to get into the clutch, clutch right off the point of the shoulder here. 
And She's Z fighting you. Is that a good sign? And being a 14-year-old cow, she already knows what I'm going to do. She's, she's, there's no, this is no mystery to her. In fact, what I'm going to do, because she is so smart, I'm going to tie her a little shorter. What would you do if she was already down? You would then put a halter on like this, make sure her shoulder was up, and then you would lay her head back and tie the rope to her rear leg so this, this neck would be exposed either this side or that side. The important thing there is to get their shoulder up. Now I'm back down here with these three fingers in here and the juggler vein is puffed up very nicely. I doubt on the on the video you could have heard her belch or gurgle again. That's very normal at this point in time. Alright, I've got the needle pointing like this and we're going to go into the juggler.